Michael Ferrara from D Sport Magazine, and I'm here with Robert Young, uh, famous for Force Performance, and now Zona. Tell us a little bit about Zona. Force Performance Turbochargers and now Zona Rotor Turbochargers. Uh, Zona is uh, the culmination of all the work that Pulse Sport and Force Performance have done over the last decade of, of designing high quality turbine housings and rotating parts for the turbochargers. We've, we've, we focus a lot on Mitsubishi, we focus a lot on modifying Garrett's and other brand turbochargers, uh, but now we finally decided to create our own brand, Zona Rotor. And uh, we're here right now with uh, our new part for 2019. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. Now, I don't know how many guys out there really take the time to look at a turbine wheel, but if you have before, this should look a little bit odd. So typically, a turbine wheel, all the wheels are gonna be the same. And there's usually any number, nine, 10, or 11. And you'll see all the blades basically starting here at the bottom and going all the way up to the top. But you see on this one, we've got an even number of blades and half of them are cut down. This is something like you'd normally see on a compressor wheel. So why would we want to do that? Let's show why we'd want to do that. Well, um, there's a couple of reasons. A lot of times you're choke flow limited with your exit diameter. That's the, that's the diameter that all the air has to make it out of. Taking the blades out of the way in that location increases that choke flow. So, uh, so that's what you see here. You see only five full blades providing blockage in the turbine discharge. Now, normally what you would say, wow, you got five blades on a turbine, how are you gonna get any power on there? Well, we don't just have five blades on the turbine. We have five blades on the turbine from the perspective of the exit, from the perspective of the choke flow. So we've totally corrected a choke flow limitation by removing that blockage from the outlet. But at the same time, we've retained 10 inlet blades and the inlet blade is the great, don't ignore it, because this is where all of the power comes onto the shaft. The power that the shaft has is a product of the torque that's being applied by the air hitting each one of these inducer tips multiplied by the angular acceleration of the turbocharger. That's the shaft power. So in this product, we're increasing both of those. We're increasing the uh, angular acceleration through the reduction of the inertia by dropping every other blade to a thinner blade. And then uh, at the same time, we're increasing mass flow because we have less blockage on the way out, but we retain all of our drive torque for as our high velocity gas that's spinning around the volute only sees this little strip of the turbine blade. So when the gas is accelerating through the turbine housing, it doesn't know that some of the blades aren't there. It sees all the blades and all of the torque is delivered to the turbocharger. So basically you're capturing all the energy out of the engine to, to drive the turbine, but at the same time, you're not choking it with having so much blade uh, clogging the outlet, basically. That's exactly right, that's exactly right. So it sounds like a great idea, but in practice, have you tested this and what kind of power gains, or what are you seeing as a difference? And we recently operated this uh, on a 997 that was equipped with a pair of 65 pound a minute turbochargers. So that's approximately 12, 1300 horsepower worth of air crankshaft rating. Uh, we operated the turbo, uh, we operated the turbochargers at 330 kPa boost target, and we noticed that at the same uh, boost pressure, we saw between the RPMs of 6,000, 5,500, 6,000 to 7,500, an increase in 100 wheel horsepower wow. as a result of how much easier it was for the engine to exhale. So how long before we see this technology that you guys kind of figured out on these turbine wheels going across the board in the Zona lineup? Uh, this is for the 2019 product lineup. Okay. So there's four different sizes of this that are uh, being built right now for the 2019 product lineup. Very cool. I know some developments uh, have been gone on in the center section and on the compressor side, so can talk a little bit about those? Well, that's right. We know a lot of people might know Zona Rotor uh, uh, for its development of the HTA and HDZ compressor arrows, uh, very nice high pressure ratio performance arrows. Uh, high pressure ratio compressor arrows are really useful whenever you have an inlet restriction or you have a need to run a high pressure ratio to the motor. Four cylinder drag racing is a perfect example of that. Um, additionally, with the Zona Rotor, with the, with the development of the Zona Rotor bearing housing, uh, we, of course, have ceramic ball bearings that have a hydraulically preloaded uh, uh, angular contact bearing system in them so that we always have the correct amount of preload on the ball bearings so that we reduce and minimize ball wear and race wear to a minimum. Additionally, you've got uh, features like the integrated 10 micron oil screen at the top of the turbocharger. Some of these you can look down and you can see right through the oil feed hole, there's a, there's a, there's a, a little oil filter, uh, screen oil filter element in there about the size of a nickel. It's 10 micron uh, element, so no particles of oil pump or cam bearing or anything like that that you might have had going wrong with a motor are gonna come in and, and just ruin your turbo right off the bat. Uh, additionally, 
This has one of the largest water jackets that, that I've ever seen. We've made the water jacket as large as possible. Mm. That water jacket is a complete pancake of water around the turbine side that extends all the way down to the turbine side piston rings. What this lets you do is keep the piston ring temperature cool. And you have to do this because if piston rings are, exceed their maximum temperature, they'll collapse, they'll, 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 lose their, they'll lose their springiness into the bore, and they'll start to spin with the shaft. Mm. This will cause a lot of damage in the turbine bore. This is normally when you go, I've blown a seal. This, that's, that's what that is. Got it. Got okay? it. Uh, but with the water cooling right on the piston ring, it's almost impossible to make that happen. If people want to get more information, where do they go? Uh, Zonerotor.com, forceperformance.net, tilesport.com. Great. So we're going to see you at shootout next year? You bet, man. We'll see you there. Yes, sir.